Hey guys, let's talk here about Lucky Linda, a client at the financial firm that I am working with. So who is Lucky Linda? Lucky Linda is um, 40 years old and is in good health. She's a divorced working mom in Silicon Valley and makes $120,000 per year. Her monthly expenses are $7,500 a month. And she has two children, four and eight. She's currently saving 10% of her income in her company's 401k plan, which is about $12,000. And her company matches her contribution up to 4%, so $4,800. Additionally, she's saving six to $8,000 a year. What are her goals? To have a comfortable retirement and save some extra money for her kids' college expenses. So what were we able to do for her? So here's what we did. We reduced her 401k contribution to $5,000, leaving her an additional $7,000 to flow through to her in her paycheck. And we redirected that $7,000 along with $7,000 of her annual savings into her flip account. And I'm going to show you here in a minute what that flip account is. So this allowed her to have an additional $253,000 yearly tax-free income in retirement. So this is a plan that um, uses your current expenses to make cash for you. So let's take a look, um, a little closer look inside of that plan. All right. So here we have imported the um, life insurance carriers illustration into this Excel spreadsheet. So we can take a deeper dive into these numbers. So here on the left, we have... Um, the policy year, second column, her age. So if she was 40, so end of year, at the end of the next year, be 41. Um, money in, what her premium is every year. So this is, she's gonna be contributing this monthly. And then money out, she's not leaving in $70,000 a year. She's putting in 70,000 and taking $56,000 out, only saving $14,000 into this plan. So what happens by doing that? Well, by doing that, that money you're putting in, you're looking to earn um, on average about six and a half percent. The money inside of your life insurance policy gets credited based on um, how the S&P 500 performed for that year. So let's say it was at 4,000 points and grew to 4,400 points. That would have been a 10% increase. So you would have been credited 10% for that year. Um, on the flip side, let's say the stock market were to crash, you would just, you wouldn't learn, lose a dime of principal for that period. You just wouldn't bend credit anything. So on average, um, it grows six and a half percent. So we put in the illustration, you earning on average six and a half percent. Now, right now, the interest rates on the, the loans, the money coming out is three and a half percent. So we put in that three and a half percent for the loan rate. So now we can see, um, you know, how much money she can make on money she's paying her bills with every year. So the flow out is how much money she's taking out of her policy every year. And then savings. And then column F, total savings. And then the cash value. You can look at this as like an extra line of credit if you needed to have access to that money. And then the last column is the death benefit. So after um, all the loans that you're taking out, you do not have to pay those back when you're alive. They just come out of your death benefit when you die. So the death benefit shows um, all of the loans being paid back and what's left to your beneficiaries tax-free. So we have um, Linda putting in $70,000 a year for 10 years and taking out loans of $56,000 each year. So leaving in $14,000 a year, so a little over $1,000 a month. So total savings, she put in $140,000 in total savings. So her cash value is $167,000 at this point if it grew at 6.5%. And her death benefit of it is right under a million dollars. So at this age, she stops funding it, as in she stops leaving money in, and she's just flowing 100%. So whatever she puts in, she's going to turn right back around and take that right back out. So we have her putting in um, seventy thousand in a year and seventy thousand out once again monthly. So, but her total savings that she is leaving in doesn't ever go past one hundred and forty thousand. 
So here we can see now where this cash value is growing just from you know the interest that she's now earning on her account, on her plan. So we have her doing this um, until age 64, where she's putting 70,000 in, 70,000 out. That's flexible. If she gets raised and she's making more money or if she gets an inheritance or something, she can flow that all through here as well. So here we have at age 64, um, her cash value is $1.1 million. And remember, she only put in hundred and or left in $140,000 of her own money. And the uh, cash value inside of her plan is worth over $1 million. So that's almost a $3 million death benefit there. So now Lucky Linda is now retired and will be taking out her tax-free yearly income of $250,000 for the rest of her life. Let's take a look at that. Um, all right, so let's scroll down here. So here at age 65, she's putting in 70,000. So she's gonna have um, that 401k money. She's gonna have her social security. Um, she's gonna put that money into her policy before she pays her bills. So she's gonna put that $70,000 in throughout the year, and then she's gonna take out 320. So netting $250,000 tax-free. What would that be in taxes? That would probably be like 330,000 by the time you pay taxes and netting 250,000? No, you don't pay taxes. So this is, um, you get to, what you take out is what you keep. So she's gonna be taking out $250,000 for the rest of her life. So already in year one, she's taken out $110,000 more than she ever put in. So she's already broken even like halfway through this year. And then her line of credit, she still has a million dollars there if she had some emergency, she needed to access that money. And then if she happened to die that year, even after all of those loans were paid off, there was still about $3 million here for her. Um, let's take a look at age 80. At age 80, she has taken out almost $4 million more than she ever put in. Um, $384,000 in cash value, that line of credit there available to her, and um, $2.9 million death benefit there after all the loans have been paid off. All right, let's scroll down to age 90. Age 90, putting that $70,000 in, taking 320 out, so netting 250,000. At this point, she's taken out $6,360,000 more than she ever put in um, has a line of credit of over two and a half million dollars if she wanted to take more money out one year and a five million dollar death benefit for her family if she happened to pass away at age 90. Well, wow. so pretty incredible what this plan did for Linda. If you want to see how this can work for you and your family, please feel free to reach out and we can see if this is a good fit for you. Bye.